Teens have a habit of thinking they can always get their way. From drunk driving to throwing tantrums. Man, there's no place out here. I gotta take you to the station. To Let me pee right there. No. I swear, no. I don't wanna pee on my Let's throat. go. And just losing it completely. Get off Stop of me. Fighting. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. These are times when cops taught rogue juveniles a lesson. Let me go. I can't breathe. I wanna let me go! On May 30th, 2022, a law enforcement officer was dispatched to address an incident where a juvenile was attempting to break free from a detention center. The minor not only sought to escape, but also resorted to physically assaulting the staff members who were intervening to halt her getaway. She ran out the house. Okay. Um, she's not allowed to do that. She knows that. Yeah. Um, refused to come in forever. So I had to come in. We got her in the house. I tried talking to her toner. She's got to make good decisions. If she wants out of the group home, we have to do it a good way, not a bad way by running and hitting people. She got up and she started assaulting all of us. Okay. We blocked it. I tried to talk her down. I tried everything. Finally, I had to let her go. Out. Yeah. So we've just followed her this whole time to keep her safe. She tried to break into a garage with a man. I apologized to him. She's got a later. She found it on the ground. She, was, she said, I'm trying to kill myself. All right. She got arrested last week. I don't even Thursday. know what day. Last Thursday. Last Thursday. She got All sent right. to Sargus. We have a contract with our company, so we took her back. All right. Um, she promised the judge she would not. He would not get another call, and here yeah. we are. Okay. I have tried everything. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I just want you to call my county work for the cops here. We're not doing that. Well, that's what I need. She said she would talk to you about it. What do you think is going to happen today? You think you're just going to punch people and it's, it's going to be fine? It's going to be cool? I didn't punch anybody. I pushed him out of the way so I can get out of the door. I didn't punch anybody. Okay, that's assault. You can't do that. The skilled storyteller effortlessly conjured a tale tailored to each circumstance. Upon recognizing the impending trouble, she diligently worked to rectify the situation. Don't touch me! Stop. Don't touch me! Stop, Stop Stephanie, please! Supervisor in charge of rehabilitation then attempted to support the officer who was facing difficulties. Get off! Stop! Get off of me! Stop! We need you to listen. He's gonna get off. He's gonna get off. No, he's not! He's gonna get off. I promise he's gonna get off. No! No! You're welcome. You're hurting me! Stop it! You're still hurting me! No, you're not! Stop! Get off of me! No! I don't even have you anymore. <laughs> you're hurting yourself. Stop pulling away from me. Get off of me! You hurt me, you punched me in the face! Get off of me! Sorry. Get off of me! Stop! On her way to the police station, the girl recognized that her earlier efforts had not quite met the mark, exacerbating the officer's agitation. I want to Myself, let me go. Excuse me. What, Haley? Can you please take me to the hospital? Why? I want to kill myself. You told me earlier you didn't want to. I do. Okay, well, we're going to meet juvenile probation. They're going to decide what to do, okay? Please roll out my window. It's rolled down. No, it's not. Not all the way. I'm not rolling it down all the way. I can't breathe. You can breathe fine. Stop. I can't breathe. You're talking. You can breathe. Barely. I can't feel it, dummy. I don't care. Of course, if I die, it's on you. You're talking right now, you can breathe. I can barely breathe. The paramedics then administer the necessary care and attention she urgently required. Soon, the juvenile was taken into care by the paramedics. She was charged with aggravated assault. First up, we have a teen who was so intoxicated, she had no idea she was piling up charges. Maricopa law enforcement officers responded to a situation where a car had driven into a ditch at the intersection of Honeycutt and White and Parker Roads. The occupants quickly switched seats and offered an explanation for the circumstances they found themselves in. What's up, guys? What's going on? Just swerved out the road. Huh? Swerved out the road. Who did? Me. You were driving? Huh? 
All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need you to come out of the vehicle and talk with me then. We good. What? We good. What? Yeah, you're not good. Don't worry about that, man. We're gonna talk with her. No, I'm saying, what are we? What, we, what are we? The intoxicated young woman unknowingly revealed that she was the driver, clearly not in a sober state. As a result, the police officer asked her to get out of the car. You drove off the roadway. Yeah, but our tires. Okay. And we can't get towed out. Yeah, we'll help you get towed out. That's no problem. But we gotta find out what's going on first. Let's hang out back here with me. All right. So tell me what happened. Uh, my tire. You need to rest on the vehicle? The rest? You need to rest on the vehicle. Okay. How much have you had a drink today? Not that much, but my, my car been f***ing up. Like, I'm finna move out to my mom's house and stuff like that. Okay. And so, it just been breaking down. Like, it, it don't, I don't know, like, if it's just what's going on, but, like, everything is it's just been coming to a... Later, her answers to the officer's questions revealed just how drunk she was. Get ready for a bit of humor at this moment. So you were coming this way? Which way were you coming? This way. This way. You're coming this way? This way. You're coming hey, from there? Hey, yeah. Okay. What do you mean when she talks? She has to talk to me. No, she does. Yes, she does. Hey, you don't have to talk to her. Okay. All right, let's walk back here. Let's walk this way. Why are you back here just staring at me, man? I'm trying to make sure she's cool. How would she not be cool? Is she crying? Yeah, because she knows she messed up. That's why. Come on, let's walk up here. Let's get off this dirt, okay? Hold my hand. Hold my hand, okay? While in the process of being detained, she unexpectedly asked for a restroom break right in the midst of the highway. Witness how the situation played out. Man, there's no place out here. I gotta take you to the station. To let me pee right there. No. I swear, no, I don't want to pee on my Let's go. We, I don't want to pee We can't let you pee right here. No, we'll get you, no place we'll get you back to the station. You can pee. I do not want to. Y'all right won't take forever. I do not want to pee on my We're not going to. You're, you're I'm not even I swear, I'm lying. I what? swear, I put on my life. I put on my ears. Please, I can't let you pee. Here. I, just, I have to pee. I don't want to pee on myself. Get in the car. Ma'am, it's right there. The quicker you get in the car, the quicker you can pee. I don't. That's the station. I don't want to pee on myself. Get, we'll, I don't get in. We'll take you back. You'll be at the I'll station. Take you to the toilet. It's right there. We'll be there in, we'll be there in one minute. Minutes. One minute? It's right there. One you minute. You can see it from here. Ma'am, sit down, please. One minute. We'll be there. I need your name. What's your name? Man. What is your name? You'll get more charges. Man. You'll get more what is your name? Even upon reaching the station, she persisted in her disruptive conduct, employing offensive language directed at the police officers. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out. Huh? Go ahead, drag me out. Where your camera at? It's rolling. It's been rolling the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Ma'am, we really don't want to have to drag it's you out of the car. It's not you to drag me out. You did that on purpose. No, we don't want to. Yeah, that's what I'm no, saying. No. Ma'am, they're just going to check you out make sure you're okay. Yeah, no. Hold on. You still feel like passing out? Well, hold on. All right. You still feel like passing out? Hold on. Out? April 1st, 2022, authorities were called to the site of a collision where a high-speed vehicle collided with another car at a four-way stop intersection. The car belonging to the victim was utterly destroyed in the incident. You okay, dude? You all right? Yeah. You injured? No, I'm okay. Yeah, it was a brown or beige Saturn black female driver, younger. I'm out with the other driver. He's advising so far no injuries, but there is airbag deployment, Maley and Caroline. You just getting off of work? Yeah. Heading home, huh? Yeah. Didn't even stop at the stop sign. Did somebody else get hit? Yeah, he's good, I think. Did you get hit? Okay. You want to get out or you want to chill where you're at? It's up to you. I need to just chill real quick. Yep, you're good. You're good, man. Take your time. Did you happen to take get a look at the driver of that vehicle at all? Yeah, I didn't think so. All I seen was a car not stopping. Direct 81 Central. I'll be switching to admin. Go for it. Is this car registered to you? It's your car? Yeah, it's my car.
The victim provided a pledge accompanied by a description of the incident. Just so raise your right hand for me. You swear that everything in the statement you're about to give is true to the best of your ability. Yes, sir. And you understand that filing a false report in Florida is a criminal offense and you can be charged for doing so. Yes. Okay, state your name and today's date. Juan Marty. And what happened today? I got in an accident, hit and run. Did you see the vehicle? Yes. What color was the vehicle? Tannish brown. Did you see the driver at all? No. And did the vehicle stop and check on injuries? No. Did they attempt to exchange information with you or call the police no. for a report? Do you want to press charges for the hit and run? Yes. Her Perfect. Russo's got one detained. Apparently she admitted to being the driver. I'm going to go up there and take a look at her. The officers found the driver of the mentioned vehicle at a nearby gas station and promptly took appropriate measures. You driving this? Yes, sir. Yeah? Turn around and put your hands on your back. Yeah, Turn around and put your hands on your back. Listen, just relax. <laughs> somebody just hit and ran. Somebody just you just hit and ran somebody no, else. I yeah, you not, did. Sir. I got somebody it. hit I got me. Listen yeah. to me. Relax. Calm down. Let me call Teddy on the phone. 41 Central, 110, 12. <laughs> <laughs> relax. 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 She attempted to portray herself as the victim, claiming that someone had collided with her car. Her father arrived at the scene, and the officer informed him about the charges against his daughter. You know, she's been identified. There are no major injuries. Okay. I'll let you guys um, take What kind of bond are we going to have? Um, let's see. She's going to be charged with aggravated fleeing and eluding. Yes, sir. Uh, hit and run with injury um, and um, driving without a license. So right. her bond, the, the DWLS is going to be 500. The hit and run with injury will be 5,000, and the aggravated fleeing and eluding will be five. So, you know, right, about 1,500 bucks if you get a bondsman. Do you want to take her property? Yeah, her, yeah. Okay. I'm going to check it real quick just to make okay. sure there's nothing illegal in it because she is in custody okay. and then I'll let you. Uh... But what happens when you try to act privileged in front of cops? On January 21st, 2023, authorities were called to a Stewart, Florida restaurant in response to a disruptive female. Upon reaching the scene, an officer engaged in conversation with a bouncer at the venue who reported that the individual causing the disturbance, later identified as Chloe, was prohibited from re-entering the establishment. What's going on? So, uh, right now I'm working the door. Mm -hmm. All my guys come out with her. Who's her? The girl right here. Uh, he says the bartenders aren't going to serve her. I feel like she's had too much to drink. Okay. And they wanted to leave. Okay. But because she was so please, intoxicated, I told her to have a seat no, no, right no, there. Please, please arrest me for what I've done. I told her to have a seat right there until she's sober. I'll throw a bottle of water. I've been sitting on here for over 20 minutes, so what's your point? And so she's been out here for about two hours trying to sneak in, refusing no to leave, and I've told her seven times, like, my next step for you no, is to no call local, local law in. enforcement. That's not what I want to do. No, you know, no one's seeking in. Not in the business of ruining no, evenings. No one's right seeking now, in. your evening You're a is because I never snuck yes. in. She arrived to disrupt the discussion, highlighting her sense of entitlement. Never snuck in. Everything's been done out here. You're a liar. Uh, what's your name? Chloe. You have an idea? I've actually given I'm you gonna everything. Actually, I'm going to actually go inside and get the guy she had to Oh, issue. please do. Uh, Ma'am, uh, sir, I don't need that. Okay. Yeah, you're a joke. Do you have an idea? Honestly, this is a huh? joke. I've done nothing but okay. actually sit here and give you everything. Chloe, do you have an idea? Yeah. No? Okay. Chloe. What's your last name? The officer assessed that Chloe was too drunk to depart the restaurant independently. In order to guarantee her safety, he opted to accompany her across the street, where she could await a ride home. Let's go over here and wait for your friend, okay? All right, just hang out right there. Huh? What the? Like, come on. They just don't want to do business with you. No, that's fine. Okay. I actually understand that. I don't want to do business with half the people do with, but... Fair enough. All right, where's your friend coming from? Of course not, Lucy. Okay. It doesn't matter. I don't even know why you're talking to me. Because I got to make sure you get home safely. You've been drinking yeah, and walking around and stuff. Cause there's no, I there. actually understand why you're talking to me. I have family who's in um, law enforcement. So I recognize... So I, there's also... What? There's a, I recognize his name, but I didn't know if you're in that family. Yeah, no, okay. I, I am. It's just... So, it doesn't matter. As she awaited, the woman began shouting at people and causing disruption, her agitation escalating in response to those around her. Bro, say something? Uh, like, is, literally, okay. say, no. This is, this is what's going to bring you to jail. Well, oh, really? My mouth? Yeah. My mouth? Oh, they want to wave. Huh? So you're telling me that you as a grown man would never sit here and, and let someone mock would, you? Would I appreciate it? No. Okay, then what the would you do? It doesn't matter. I'd get a ride home. Yeah. 
I wouldn't want to be where someone does not want me. Yeah, but you also... Okay. I've also had bad days. Apparently you're having a bad day. Yeah, but I also have family who works in... As soon as she confronted the police officer directly, the situation escalated in an instant. I've there's been a, sober a, for two months. There's a lady at that. Uh, well, then don't ever talk to me like that because I've been sober for two months and I've worked hard for that. I can tell. She said there's a, there's a lady outside. Are you with, kidding with, me? Get the out of me. Don't jail now. Why? Why? Stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop resisting or you're going to get another charge. Why? Can you stop for a second? I, what the f have I done? Please stop, please. Wait. Grab her right hand. Wait, can you talk to me? Can you please talk to me? What have I done? Ow, can you You're, please talk? Stop spinning yourself around. I'm not talk. What did I do to you? What have I done? Unexpectedly, she adopted a civil and well-mannered demeanor incorporating the word please into her language. Can you please talk to me? Please, please, can you talk to me? I, can you please talk to me? You're on job with this. Why? Why? I haven't done anything. Huh? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Please, please, can you talk to me? What am I doing wrong? Sergeant Duran told you to knock it off, okay? Okay, so can you talk to me, please? I'm trying to search you. Make sure you don't have phones please and stuff. Please talk to me, please. I'm not doing anything wrong. Who's your dad? <laughs> please talk to me. Who's your dad? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> please stop. Please, I'm not done. Why are you doing this to me? Please stop. Please, please. Why are you doing this? Can you stop? <laughs> Can you please stop? Holy, sit down. Can you please stop? Holy, sit down. Subsequently, it came to light that the officers charged her with engaging in disorderly intoxication. Why are you doing this to me? I haven't Hold resisted any arrest. You're resisting, I, you're resisting now, but now put your feet in the car. But I haven't done anything to put you. I was, I was. Oh, you're uh, under arrest. Next thing I do is I make you get into the car. Put your feet into the car. I haven't done anything to you. I haven't done anything to you. In a video dated February 21st, 2022, officers responded to a suspected drunk driver in a Tesla on North Bahama Drive. The driver attempts to flee, setting the stage for a dramatic confrontation. Little do we know, this teenager's night is about to take a turn she won't ever forget. <laughs> the vehicle hands out of the window why are you running from me why are you running don't get out of the stay in the vehicle right now as the officer approaches the tesla the driver accelerates leading to a tense pursuit despite repeated commands to stop the driver a 24 year old woman resists escalating the situation the officer determined to bring her to justice faces a challenging and potentially dangerous encounter. 511, she's refusing to comply. Get, hey! Uh. Get out of the vehicle. You got me up, bro. I own this. Actively vehicle. resisting. Get out of the Get out of the vehicle! She's taking off! The confrontation reaches a climax when the Tesla is finally stopped. The officer apprehends the driver, only to face fierce resistance. The driver, seemingly entitled, demands her father's presence and questions the reasons behind her arrest. The situation intensifies as emotions run high, revealing a clash between authority and the rebel invincibility of youth. Call my father. We don't need to call your dad. Yeah, you're right, and you're not gonna take me in either. Get down. No, I'm not, sorry. You are not going anywhere. Oh my God. The officer attempts to conduct sobriety tests, but the defiant driver refuses to cooperate. The tension peaks as the officer struggles to maintain control. The resolution comes when the driver is informed of these serious charges, reckless driving, DWI, and fleeing. The severity of her actions begins to dawn on her as the officer asserts the potential consequences. <laughs> 
No one said that. No, I know. I know. In the aftermath, the arrested teenager grapples with the reality of her reckless behavior. This offers a glimpse into the dangers of young individuals feeling above the law. However, teenagers like these are not more than a cautionary tale. You reckless driving because the speeds you were going and running stop signs, you could have easily killed someone. You had no regard for other people's lives. All right, DUI. You want to charge me of a DUI, but you have nothing. Really? We're going to let so you do you a breathalyzer right now. You're going to pass? Right, right. You're going to check that now. But why you say that before? Because you're drunk. No, I'm not. On November 5th, 2021, at approximately 1.42 a.m., the Vernon Township Police Department responded to a potential disturbance on Steamboat Drive. The focus of their attention was 20-year-old Gabriella Colon, found seated in a locked 2011 BMW, sparking the unfolding events of a tense night. Gabby, just please be calm. Babe, please car. stop. Are you gonna leave me alone? Or no, you need to open the window. For what? You told us you were drinking for one. One that was called a joke to leave me alone? No, it doesn't seem like a joke. No, it's a joke. No, open up. I'm good. Upon arrival, patrolman Adam Kraus encountered Gabriella, allegedly intoxicated, with her boyfriend revealing her intentions to drive despite police warnings. As patrolman Mangano and patrolman Rembis joined the scene, tensions escalated. Gabriella's defiance prompted officers to consider extreme measures, hinting at a looming confrontation. So we need you to get out of the car, take yeah. a test or two. Yeah. If you're sober, we'll let you go. Okay, okay. great, then show us that. However, if you don't get out, we're going to break the window and drag you out. I'm good. I'd rather them break the window and drag me out. Gabby, this is a nice freaking car. They don't want to break your window. Step the fuck out of your car. The situation intensified when Gabriella, uncooperative and exhibiting signs of impairment, resisted exiting her vehicle. Faced with the potential danger of a drunk driver, officers had to resort to threatening to break the car window. Despite suspicions, they refrained from field sobriety tests due to safety concerns, leading to Gabriella's arrest for driving under the influence. Relax. Babe, relax. Babe, relax. Babe, relax. Babe, relax. Babe, relax. Babe, relax. Amateur. Babe, please. Associates agree to let do better in his life. Babe, please relax. Babe, babe, relax. Babe, babe, please. Transported to Vernon Township Police Headquarters, Gabriella's rebellious behavior persisted. Physical restraint became necessary, and she attempted to manipulate the breathalyzer test. Following processing and fingerprinting, the resolution arrived as her boyfriend signed a potential liability warning form, securing her release. However, Gabriella was not free of consequences, having received a summons for various offenses. You said you won't, but you said just this one. Don't worry about you the other stuff there. Just leave it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriella's choices led to legal repercussions, marked by a dramatic confrontation with law enforcement. As the night concluded, the consequences of her actions set the stage for potential legal challenges and personal reflection. Make this a lesson for all the teenage rebels. Okay, are you going to be calm or are you going to be combative? Because you're not. Well, so far, you're not even answering our questions. Oh, I meant calm, for sure. Mm-hmm. And I said be calm and answer our questions. And you yeah. said you wouldn't answer the age. Okay, right I will, there. I will, I will, if these okay. come off. They all did. If these come off. That wasn't part of the deal. You said mm -hmm. the deal, you'd be calm and answer questions. On a plane, a passenger refuses to wear a mask, leading to tension. Authorities intervene, informing her she can't fly. The passenger insists on expressing herself and challenging the situation asserting her rights. No one's going to put their hands on you. Right. Yeah, yeah, you Grab won't. your bag and yeah, yeah, you won't. Your... Okay, but I need you to get up. No. Okay? You need me to get up? You may need me to get up, but you know what I feel my need to do as a person? You need to call No, out. no, I'm going to do call what I need to do. I'm going to say what I need to do. If... Police request her to leave, but she resists asserting personal freedom. The situation escalates as officers emphasize the consequences. 
Amidst a standoff, the passenger questions the legitimacy of physical intervention, seeking understanding. They're going to deplane the aircraft. I'm going to take you off the that plane. That was already happening. Don't and you're going to jail, just so no, you that know. That was already happening. It, it will happen okay. if you get up and walk out with me right now. Yeah. But if you're not going I don't to, trust yeah. that. right now they're going to deplane. Oh, as soon as they deplane, you're going to jail, okay? <laughs> if you do not get up. As officers attempt to remove her, the passenger challenges their authority, citing an earlier encounter without masks. Tensions rise as accusations of manipulation and abuse of powers surface, leading to a charged exchange between the passenger and law enforcement. You know you're fighting for a system that isn't no, uh, just the you all no, uh, you do. You know that. You know that. Uh, you really do. And if you don't, then that's just fucked up. Efforts to control the situation continue, with the passenger arguing against arrest. Despite her resistance, officers convey the inevitability of her removal from the plane and subsequent arrest. The atmosphere becomes heated as the passenger challenges the actions of law enforcement. All right, I, you ready to I step up? Not Are you going to comply you, with no, everybody? No, with you too, yes, not with you because you're a liar. Okay. No, he said he literally, the reason he, he has me arrested right now is f***ing lies. You, you, you looked at me high up as I looked at you outside of the plane before I ever went in there. The confrontation concludes with the passenger being removed from the aircraft, raising questions about the aftermath and the validity of the arrest. The incident prompts reflections on authority and individual rights. You're not following my human rights. my constitutional procedures, okay? Can I have your name, please? First, can we just adopt something okay. that makes me want to be safe? Why can I not be safe? Okay, okay. This Why is this okay. like this? This is not my no, human no, rights. No, Stop. No. I would relax if you would let me. If the previous case didn't give you enough kick, take a look at this. In August 2022, at a Circle K gas station in Key West, Florida, a routine police encounter turned tense when officers responded to a reckless driver. The woman involved, identified as Andrea, faces a series of questions about her damaged car and her journey from Stock Island. I really want to go home. Okay, well, I don't want to talk anymore. Okay, but we gotta figure out what's going I already talked to him, okay. and he already made it seem like I'm like a horrible person. Well, ma'am, no, I didn't. I was asking can about I your crash. Can... I got my lawyer. Okay. Can what? I please call my lawyer? For what? We're, in, we're investigating call... an accident. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to call my lawyer. Why you want to call a lawyer? Because I know how this works. The suspect was then confronted about the condition of her flat tire by the police officers, suspecting an accident. Andrea insists it was pre-existing damage. The situation escalates as she requests to call her lawyer and mother, leading to a clash between her desire for legal counsel and the officer's insistence on gathering information. If you see here, I hit my scooter here before. Okay, so that's not from tonight. No, so I hit tonight. my scooter and I okay. hit the side before. Okay. But right now, I literally, I hit the curb a okay. little bit. So but it had like a tube. It was like sticking a little bit and I didn't see that. A tube? A poste, como, como, como un pole. A poste. I don't know what that is. Andrea repeatedly asks to call her mother and lawyer while the officers press for her driver's license. The officers detect alcohol on her breath and express concern about a potential hit and run. Her resistance to providing identification leads to a threat of arrest. Go away from your car. It's okay, let's go, let's have a seat. Let's have a seat over here. What the f let's, have, let's have a seat, okay? Have a seat right here for me. Yo, they can have my keys. They can have my wallet. Have a seat, please. It's All we so needed so was a driver's I license. Yet. I don't know. I'm trying to look for my sh the officers proceeded to arrest her, citing charges of resisting arrest, hit and run, and driving under the influence. The conflict peaks as Andrea pleads for her rights and questions the legality of the arrest. The situation becomes more intense as she expresses distress, claiming difficulty breathing. Isn't that a lesson to be learned? Never ask to call your mom or your lawyer in front of the law enforcement agencies when you know you were in the wrong. This night might have ended for the cops, but for the suspect, it just started. Can I talk to our lawyer? Uh, yes, 9 a.m. tomorrow. F you. Piece of, yo, you're f You got kids, you piece of You. Ah, 
Patrolman Robert Alvator of the Highlands Police Department observed a 2009 Dodge Caliber driving erratically on State Route 36 northbound. This marked the beginning of a routine patrol that would soon lead to another arrest. But this was not going to be a normal OVI. The reason why I'm stopping you guys in the first place is when you were coming over the bridge, I noticed that you guys were failing to maintain your lane. Okay, um, so I saw you guys laughing and joking. So, but yeah, as I continue to follow right. you guys it's down the hot, no. 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 we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Thank you handed me a driver's license that says you're not 21 I'm until 20, next year. As Alvator followed the car, he revealed that 20-year-old Karina Armando drove it. He noticed erratic swerving and tailgating. He discovered that Karina, having left Donovan's Reef, admitted to consuming alcohol. The situation escalated with the arrival of patrolwoman Nicole Curley, who, due to Karina's age, initiated field sobriety exercises. From here, you're going to take a series of nine steps, heel to toe, that counting, like one, two, let, let, let me finish, nine steps, heel to toe, counting out loud, looking down at your feet while you're taking these steps, keeping your hands down at your side. During the DUI test, Olivia Morrow, the driver's passenger, became quite fanatic and uncooperative. Patrolman Curley warned her about potential obstruction of justice charges. As the exercises unfold, Karina's inability to maintain balance, walk heel to toe, slurred speech, and sporadic counting led Patrolman Alvator to arrest her. So what exactly are you guys doing? Like, you're being placed under arrest for driving while intoxicated. Do you have a cell phone in here or anything that you need? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, we'll Where grab it for you. Where's your cell phone? I don't, I do not have a cell phone. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll look for it and I'll, right. I'll grab it. I'll get it for you, okay? The driver is then taken to the police station for a further investigation, where she is demanded to provide the tests for possible DWI but she chooses to play the woman card instead of providing the information to the police officers. Here, have a look at how she handles everything. Karina, put your hands behind your back. Okay. Do you guys have cameras? Yeah. We do have cameras. Everything's recorded. Wow. Now it's on fucking camera. Is it like a joke? Or? Like, can, <laughs> with the oh, hand. can you just stand still for a okay, second? I'm sorry. Unable to administer a breathalyzer at their station, Alvator transported Karina to the Atlantic Highlands Police Department. After reading her the standard statement, the suspect initially refused to provide samples, invoking her Miranda rights. Patrolman Kuna and Sergeant Elmer logged her refusal. Upon processing, she was released to Olivia's boyfriend after signing a potential liability warning form. So I'm just gonna grab one form. I'm gonna have you read through it real quick. Um, in summary, what the form says is you're not gonna let Karina drive for a minimum of 12 hours. Okay. All right. No problem. In the early hours of September 4th, 2022, Boca Raton police officer De La Rua encountered a 2019 Hyundai driving erratically on West Yamato Road. The driver, however, was later identified as 19-year-old Seda Coleman. She was exhibiting questionable behavior, irking the officer to investigate further. The reason why I'm pulling you over is when you made that, that left turn, you turned into my lane, you're supposed to say you're in your inside lane. Oh, you I opened up right. Lane? Yeah. Okay. Are you paying attention because you kind of swerved outside in this lane too when you turned into here. I was paying attention, yeah. Okay. Did you have anything to drink tonight? No. Okay. You got license registration for French insurance. How old are you? I'm 21. The officer questioned Seda about potential alcohol consumption, initially denying any influence and falsely claiming to be 21. Seda's suspicious conduct led the officer to detect the scent of alcohol, but not just that. Attempts to verify her driver's license also proved unsuccessful. Just follow with your eyes, with your eyes only, don't move your head, okay? Just like the tip of the pen? Yep. Okay, Ready? got you. Yep. Remember what I said? Just with your eyes only, okay? Okay. Another officer arrived, and due to the suspicions of intoxication, Seda underwent field sobriety testing. Failing in multiple sobriety tests, including horizontal gaze, walk and turn, and others, Seda's eventual admission to drinking led her to being arrested for DUI. All right, you're going to sit here. I'll explain to your friend what's going on, okay? That's fine. 4 to 3, you can also start at 1071 time and uh, available at 1032, but if you have one. Hey, Hi. of course, your friend's going to jail for an for DUI, okay? How much did you have to do? Do you feel okay to drive? Yes. The suspect then got transported to the BRPD booking facility 
Seda agreed to a breathalyzer test, revealing a BAC of 0.166%, twice the legal limit. Following procedures, she was taken to Palm Beach County Jail, undergoing a mandatory holding period with a scheduled court date before release. Uh, fake ID is, right? I'm sure you do, because there's one I, right there. Oh, trust me. Okay. My stepdad's in the FBI. You're on the wrong track if that's kind of how you're going to behave. See, if you would have told me your age, I could have gone the other route, right? Or basically, I could have done a 402 violation, which means, yeah, you're in 21, but you couldn't blow over 402. Okay. It would have been an administrative, this and that. But it's too late. I can't go the other way around. The incident with Officer De La Rua's spitting observations, Seda's attempts to conceal intoxication, failed sobriety tests, and the conclusive breathalyzer result highlight the serious legal consequences she now faces. So next time you see a teenager breaking the law, you might want to show them this. This has never happened to me. And my mom told me if anything happens, she's literally pulling me from school, so I'll probably be... Why, why didn't you guys just Uber? I'm sorry? Why didn't you guys just Uber? You're down the street. Because I already had my car there, and I was... I'm just... I don't know. I wasn't thinking, if I'm being honest. Your mom, your dad, your stepdad, oh. Yeah, I'm going to be completely honest. I was just being stupid. In a dramatic turn of events, a 911 call unleashes police on none other than Taylor Frankie Paul, the Mormon TikTok star. But this time, her screams and sounds of struggle were the real stars. Brace yourselves for the domestic drama that unfolds between this girlfriend-boyfriend duo. I just want to be able to talk to you without you two bickering at each other. Okay. So, go ahead, like, you can say it or whichever. Okay. So, what's what's your name? Taylor. Taylor. I'm Officer Rugebrecht with the Harriman Police Department. Okay. The neighbors called in, saying they heard a bunch of yelling and As the officers intervene, it appears Paul and her boyfriend were in the midst of a heated argument, and that progressed to a physical altercation. Suspicions of intoxication arise, though Paul skillfully shifted the focus to her romantic misadventures, boldly declaring she was done with men. Neighbors, however, spilled the real tea, though. How the Missy has raised her hand on the boyfriend before. It's not that you did anything wrong, per se. We are just, the neighbors called in thinking that someone's getting hurt. No one's getting hurt. I'm just a mercenary because I'm getting divorced and I'm just so hurt. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, thank you. Let's dive in the tangled web of Paul's life, starting with a messy divorce that was plastered all over social media, and then adding an embarrassing, albeit false, video of relieving herself in fear. And voila, a recipe for mental health deterioration. Clearly, the woman needed help. Yeah, I just want to go to bed. Just go like this. I just want to go to bed. I'm okay. I'm good. What about the other scene? <laughs> and then... Oh, I'm sorry, I just want my dad. <laughs> As the officers patiently navigate the upset star through the consequences of her actions, visibly embarrassed, she did realize the gravity of the situation. The hard part is that, like, I'm getting too... Different, different, different stories. Yeah. As far as tonight's concern, based on what I've seen and what's taken place, at this time you're going to be placed under arrest Why? for DV, for domestic violence. Before I talk to you more about it, I need you to turn around and place your hands behind your back. Post-arrest, Paul embarks on a therapy journey to tackle her issues. Here's the kicker, though. She was facing a slew of charges, including aggravated assault and domestic violence in the presence of a child causing injury. Despite entering the not guilty plea, it was shaping up to be a long and arduous road. It's based on the evidence that I'm seeing at the, like, here tonight. What's your evidence to share? Just all the stuff on the ground and you throwing things at him. Are we allowed to ask him or are we not allowed? Because... What do you mean by asking? Because when he sees this, he's not going to agree to it. Leave it to the TikTokers for turning a mundane night into a disastrous one. Amanda Carvala, apparently TikTok royalty, chose a traffic stop of all places to take a nap. Just when you think beauty sleep is harmless, she woke up all disoriented, triggering a police backup fiesta. Radio 2, cars and drive, drivers asleep, put on the brake. Cars and drive, drivers asleep, put on the brake. Carvala, refusing to dance to the officer's tune, straight up denied parking and unlocking her car door. Whoa, whoa. Wake up! 
Put it in park. Put the car 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 in park. Police department, put the car in park. And there you have it. A simple stop sign turned into a chaos carnival. Hey, I like it. Excellent. There we go. Police department. Take your belt off. Step out. They're both. Show where you're at. They're both, yeah. Checking out the seats. I think you guys are like. Leave it to the officers to pick up the lingering smell in the car. Yep, they had a classic DUI on their hands. All right, Mr. When have you used turn around, put your hands behind your back for me, you're under arrest for what a DUI right I'm now. under arrest for having a Michigan State Trooper coming here. No, you're under arrest for nope. robbery. You are under arrest for hitting my car and being extremely intoxicated while driving. You don't even know where you're at right now, and you're refusing to take my test. I'm waiting, yeah. Hold on now, as more drama ensues, as our dear Amanda demanded her trooper brother-in-law to come rescue her while adamantly refusing the breathalyzer, though she soon flipped the script and agreed to a blood test. All lies, as she demanded a lawyer upon reaching the police station. I'm clearly stating that I want to call my lawyer before refusing? I consent are to you, this test. Are we yelling? Are we going to say yes are or no? Are you going to ask me this question over and over? I, I yes, want to you. call my lawyer before I consent to this test. What don't you understand? I'm asking you if you're It's a very to clear statement. I know that you guys think you're like... <sighs> Around, around, around. Ultimately, the woman resorted to playing the TikTok royalty card and blamed all of this on post-baby fatigue. Not so fast, though. She thought she could play the officers by conveniently forgetting the traffic light detail. Sadly, that didn't happen, and she got slapped with a year of community service along with a year of probation. Defying the laws of physics, a black speedster caught the attention of law enforcement when it zoomed along the road. And the driver was none other than Callista, who seemed to be in quite a hurry, pushing the speed up to 35 miles an hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. And she was more focused on her phone than the road in front, and had no insurance papers either. Where are you headed to? I'm going home. Okay, where's that at? Where are you coming from? I'm leaving this kid's house. Okay. Wait, hold on. I don't know if this is it. If not, I have to show you my insurance on my phone. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, how much do you have to drink tonight? Enter the field sobriety tests, and Callista's urgency shone through as she mentioned an ex-boyfriend she was eager to escape from. Trouble in paradise indeed. Attempting cheekiness in alphabet recitation and backward counting, she faces not one, but two tests. Can you just recite the alphabet yeah. slowly without saying so start at the letter B like boy, stop at the letter N like Nancy? You want me to start with A? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. I just want to go the f I'm like, I, I need to get the f out of here. Like the more she failed, the more comprehensive the test gets. Though the cop picked up on her plan of action. Distract and charm your way out of trouble. I already have a felony, so please don't do this. I'll be of court in two weeks. You're like 21. Well, Are you 21? Well, I'm first right now. Are you? you? Nailed it, yep. You're lying. No, I swear. It's gonna be you You're a baby. Though. You're a baby. You have a girlfriend? Yep. Yep. And when that failed, laid all the blame on the supposed boyfriend, who miraculously had become an ex and current within minutes. How much do you want me to walk? Nine, like I said. Count your steps nine? up. Nine? Yeah. Is that nine? I didn't even count. All right, go ahead and take nine hill toe steps in the same fashion until your first nine. You guys know I'm stupid or no? Say the truth. No, I don't think you are. Go ahead. You can just say it. Count your steps out loud. Don't forget to count your steps out loud. Time to change tactics, and Callista chooses to act dumb next. Yep, and casually disclosing recent enhancement surgery. I right, so remember I said, watch your feet and count your steps out loud. One, we'll count your, well. two, I can't do that. They're literally fake. I just got them done. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, do you have any questions? No, How much I you mean, my drink? like, How I had two drinks from Keenan uh -huh. and then I shot a crown apple. I'll tell you straight and up. And that's it? I'm you just stupid. Uh, she was playing games for sure. Despite her efforts, the cuffs make an appearance. Now, watch as she went ballistic after that. Can you please grab my phone in my car? Yeah, of course. How about you want to put your flip flops on? No, I, I don't get that why one. you're doing this. What's that? I don't get why you're doing this, is what I said. 
I just want my phone. So just get my phone. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah, come right over here. Right over no, here. my no, my phone's not over there. No, my no, I'm gonna car. I'm gonna go get it. I don't want to leave it out of here. Hey, get my no, get my phone in my car. With no other options, the woman found herself at the police station, facing quite a few charges: DUI, reckless driving while texting, and exceeding speed limits. Kudos to her for creating such a mess and thinking she could get away with it. After getting a call from our VIP Yusuf, aka Fousey Tubes, surrounded by a fortress of security, mind you. And what's his first move? Just casually mentioning that his live stream was on. Entitled alert! Boy, he's got his priorities sorted. Yes. Yes. Yusuf! Miami Police! You go, bro. Just open the door. Open the door slowly. I'm coming. Now, Yosef was convinced his life was in grave danger after a mysterious phone call. Naturally, he had law enforcement on his speed dial because, you know, he thought he was qualified for some top-notch protection. And just to drive that point home, he also mentions how he is the most viral man alive right now. Basically, the person that called already had the room number oh, yeah, and yeah. his name. Oh, yeah, and nobody ever gave an instruction and not to contact anybody to this room. And like, usually, when, if they already know the room number and the, and the, the person that like, said that they were the manager, okay. they knew the name and they knew the phone and the room number. So the person connected okay. them. All right. Police, of course, were thrilled to spend quality time listening to someone off his meds. It's not like they could be out there saving lives or anything. But nope, he kept rambling about the world's negligence towards his safety. Dog, I'm live streaming. I'm the most famous guy on the internet right now. Yeah, he do, he's on kick and all that. He's got like seven million followers. He's worth like seven, seven million dollars. Okay. A guy, he calls my mom yesterday and says I'm gonna slit your throat. When he finally realized he would not get his way, what did he do? Oh, he switched up tactics and started yelling. Nothing says entitled like throwing a tantrum, right? The cops, the pros that they are, finally cuffed him. He did not go quietly, though. Not a chance. And he spiced it up by dubbing himself a chosen messenger, while showering the officers with creative profanities on the side. I have all his stuff. Take a picture. 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 So uh, who is this person that you I'm not talking to you and you want to need a lawyer. You're not arrested, you're gonna get banged right there. Guess what? Fousey Tube's VIP ticket wasn't a jail, but a trip straight to a mental facility. Lesson learned. Next time you threaten someone, maybe don't insult the people who could help, huh? Welcome to the Miami International Airport, where the NFL player Odell Beckham successfully turned a nap into a gripping medical emergency. Getting a bit too comfortable in dreamland, the man would not wake up. What kind of him? I don't know. He said he's like that. He's been like that. Yeah. Waking up? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He opens up his eyes. Sir, are you able to get up? Can you get up, please? You okay? What's wrong? The airline's called for you, sir. I don't know what it is. But hold on. Odell might just be enjoying a post-clubbing nap. Who wouldn't? The real dilemma was to fly or not to fly. The captain wanted him off, but there he goes, refusing to step down, holding the entire aircraft hostage. Go back, go back, Frank. Hi, bro. Uh, okay. Go back. Go back? We're good. Yes. Yeah? We're good? Okay. okay. You know how many times you've shaken him to put a seatbelt on and he's wearing his spot? If you don't want him to fly, that's a decision that you guys are going to have to make. As the standoff intensifies, Odell remains as defiant as ever. So, in swoops the supervisor, the hero of this airborne saga. He laid down the law and allowed him one last time to gracefully exit. Did he take it, though? I want to avoid any embarrassments or any issues. The crew, the, the captain's the one that makes the final decision. Right now, for whatever reason, they're asking you to leave. They're going to rebook you on the next flight. Okay, yeah, well, this is what's going to happen. As soon as they get off, you can do whatever you got to do. We're going to have to we're going to have to deplane everybody on this plane, and then you're still going to get off. That's fine. Okay. What fine. I'm saying is... Cue the drum roll as Odell finally manages to deplane. And guess what he did next? He thanked himself for this endeavor as he did it for himself, apparently. Confidence level? Sky high. In this traffic stop saga, a cop was in the midst of writing a citation, when suddenly, Zach Bryan entered, 
Defying the officer's advice to stay in his car, he, in his rebellious glory, decided to stand by his vehicle. And when warmed about jail time, the man was like, let's do this. <laughs> sure. Hang on. Oh, yes, sir. My dog's in there, too, sir. Okay. Just let you know. You need a record for Uh, the truck? Yeah. Uh, you sir. Got ID on you? Uh, yes, sir. I just woke up. My dog's in there. I shouldn't have said what I said. My name's Jack Ryan. That's my security guard. I, I... Cuffed and now a passenger princess in a cop's car, one would think this country singer would reconsider his life choices. No such luck, though as he proceeded to share his opinion on law enforcement, alleging they are out of hand and why people are not a fan of them. Oh, and did I mention how he casually drops the fact that he knows all the cops in Tulsa, flaunting entitlement right on an officer's face? So he's insanely uncomfortable. I understand that, sir. We'll, 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 we'll change them in a minute. You may be putting them on in a hurry. They really ain't built for comfort to begin with. So how are you doing anything wrong? Well, yeah, you did. I asked you to leave uh, and get back in your truck, and you said you weren't going to do it. Uh, this is the second time this happened to me in three days, actually. Well, because cops have just been, been like way too brutal on me. Next, he brings in reinforcements. Yep, Daddy Dearest to the rescue, and he had the governor on speed dial, obviously. Apparently, the singer had been under pressure, or so his security guard shared. And by the way, he was the one initially receiving the citation when Brian so rudely interrupted. That option is long and gone. Okay, his vehicle's gonna be at DNK Record Service, uh, DNK Record Service in Benita. He's gonna be taking his uh, Yes, sir, you can get this vehicle out. After a stint in jail, Zach finally sees the light. Yep. He issued the much-needed apology on his social media platform, of course, and condemned his own behavior and acknowledged his missteps. Bravo, man, for coming to your senses. Stephanie Bloodworth, the 24-year-old daredevil, showed her brilliant presence of mind when she thought fleeing from the authorities would be a good idea. Oh, she sadly attempted to evade a DUI on Monday evening in Duck Key, Florida. You need to come over here right now. Why? Because I'm telling you to. You're running from me. I did. Ma'am, do you need me to pepper spray you? You need to get over here right now. Oh. Turn around! 511, yeah. she's refusing to comply. Get, hey! Uh -huh. Get out of the vehicle. You got me f***ed up, bro. Pulling the brakes at the next stop, she wasted no breath in dialing up dear father, all while claiming he owned the entire island. Despite the theatrics, on-call cops quickly cuffed her while she got busy feigning ignorance. <laughs> like that's gonna work. Stop me over. Oh my god, dad! Stop me. Resisting. What the hell, dude? What are you doing? Don't resist. What are you doing? Dude? You didn't even know me. Stop arresting me. Stop resisting. Enter our dear father, the voice of reason, advising his daughter to calm down. Did she though? Yeah, not so much. Boy, that woman remained undeterred. She got out of the car. Got back in the car, <laughs> took off, ran multiple stop signs. I am so happy that she didn't kill someone. It's it's a blessing in disguise. Um, just hoping you don't mind walking through our seat and showing me what you're doing. Fast forward to the police station, and Stephanie struggled with the field sobriety tests. The breathalyzer became a comedy of errors, requiring multiple attempts to blow into it correctly. Why all this trouble? because she was rocking three times the limit of blood alcohol level. Okay, it's gonna be the left foot behind, right foot in front, just like this, Stephanie. I'm like the other Okay, way. <laughs> are you ready to begin? Do you understand these instructions? Yes. Okay, Stephanie, you may begin. Do I have one? Two. Charged with resisting an officer, fleeing, reckless driving, and DUI, Stephanie's legal saga took a turn when she opted for a no-contest plea. The verdict? Two years of probation. But this golden ticket transforms when, through special permission, she embarked on a cruise in September 2023.